Hi friends, uh, welcome to ODI 12C installation and configuration video series. This video I am going to explain you how to configure RCU using RCU utility. So repository creation utility it is uh, provided by Oracle. Using this repository creation utility we can configure ODI master and work repositories. Let's start with uh, go to your installation location. This is your uh, ODI home location go to oracle common folder and uh, there is a bin folder is available go to this and there you can find rcu so uh, right click and start with uh, run as administrator because we need to run with the administrator user so it will open a one window it's a wizard based where we can uh, configure a repository utility so currently I'm not configured any utility. It's the latest version I have installed. Wait for a few more seconds so it will uh, open a uh, wizard based window. So here is the latest version uh, repository creation utility and here you can find the version click on next and uh, there is a create a repository and drop a repository if so if you have if you want to drop existing repository you can choose this option but now we are going to create a new repository so i am selecting first option and uh, system load and product load so I need a DBA privileges, uh, Oracle DBA privileges user and uh, there it will be loaded both system load and product load objects. So click on next and here uh, we need to select the database which database you are going to use for your master repository and work repository. I am going to use uh, Oracle database like if you have specific database other databases you can choose those. Then host name is a local system. So default is a local host and the port number 1521 and service name ORCL and the DBA user that's a system and that password and the role as a sysdba click on next So we need to verify this uh, host is running or not. This is my Oracle database. Let's verify this Oracle connection details. This TNS name dot Vora file will have all the connection information. This is uh, host name and the port number. Here you can see ORCL. Everything is uh, okay. Sorry, I gave a wrong uh, port number. So one five two one. OSL remaining everything is okay. Let's. 
so it is validating on metadata so it is checking the requirement for the database so the database should support and the database version also it should support whatever version you are using so you know right so whenever we are trying to connect the database you need to verify that TNS uh, file this is Oracle uh, network configuration then click on OK now here is a prefix you need to use like if you are using this for development if you are using this for any pre or any other environment mention that prefix okay and uh, I'm going to create all this uh, edit services, metadata services, web logic services, Oracle data integrator. This user, this is our <coughs> main user, which is we are storing our repository that is called a dev dot underscore OD underscore repository. Okay, the master and work repository will be created in this database user. The remaining other schema users, other Oracle uh, standard uh, services, the edit services and uh, metadata services, web logic services is called uh, dev underscore ums metadata services dev underscore mds and weblogic services dev underscore ws if you are, are planning to install for pre prod or uat or some production environment change this prefix let's uh, use the default for uh, development then click on next now it is creating a master repository and work repository uh, it is uh, that checking the uh, component uh, prerequisites it's validated now we need to provide the password for that so remember that password to log in your master and work repository and the supervisor password ODA supervisor password I'm giving here remember this password also and the work repository type development and the work repository name uh, and the work repository password is optional and remaining you can ignore that so this are the users database users will be created and the table spaces and temp table spaces will be created in this a wizard option so it will take some time if you want to validate a database set parallelly here you can validate any users are created Then click on create here you can see complete process executing a pre-create operations so here you can see all the users which is uh, here you can see the dev stb dev mds dev underscore uh, weblogic server weblogic runtime this is all the users are creating it uh, in this process okay so once start with this work repository in master repository and that user also you can see that so dev underscore ODI underscore repo so currently it is uh, up to weblogic server is done so UMS user messaging services then edit services then platform security services so last one is your master and work repository that user will be created and uh, all the metadata tables SNP tables will be created and that will take at least two, two three minutes in complete process So edit services is done then it is going for uh, Oracle platform security services after that master and work repository so as of now that user is not there only add edit services you can see 
this is the latest one platform security services so now it will be created a dev master and work repo see here dev underscore vd underscore repo so this will have all the tables wait for some time so installation has been completed here you can see the all the services status all the components uh, has been created successfully and if you want to verify the tables you can verify in all tables table name and the owner is a uh, odi repo the dev underscore odi underscore repo this little tables has been created snp tables so let's connect to uh, whatever we created uh, master repository and work repository so login name the user defined name so default username and password that's a system administrator username is and the password database username password the database username password is your this whatever we created that dev underscore oda underscore repo and that password select oracle jdbc localhost port number and service name So bad credential is showing incorrect username and password. So here I have entered as an invalid uh, username. So the default user is supervisor. So click on test connection. Now here you can see successful connection. And uh, if you want to select work repository, you can select work repository here. Click on browse. This is your work repository. And click on OK. And if you want to store the valid password, you can store. Or without valid, also you can store this. Then click on OK. So it is connecting both master and work repositories. It is connecting both master and work repositories now.
so my ram is very less that's why it is taking more time because i already installed odi and oracle database so it's using more memory here you can see the components so odi is using around 2 gb and the database is using 1 gb and remaining other components So like this we can go for creating master and work repository using RCU. So that RCU will be available in your ODI home. This is ODI home directory. Go to Oracle common and there is a bin directory. There you can find a RCU batch file. So this batch file uh, right click and trigger as run as administrator user then it will open a win wizard based like this so i'm closing this and just uh, i'm creating a connection whatever i have created master and repository first work repository both details have given and i'm creating a connection name but uh, here uh, my system is very slow that's why it is taking more time and uh, initially it will take some time because it will store all the information into your local desktop So here you can see the, all the components which we connected. Go to topology and uh, verify repository. This is work repository and master repository. And uh, this is our uh, work repository. You can view the details. Work repository name and uh, created when it's created. Uh, same thing for master repository. okay in security here you can see all the profiles uh, available users currently only one user is available that's called a supervisor if you are creating any new users those will be displayed here so like this we can go for creating master and work repositories in ODA using rcu utility so thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel. Thank you very much.